How's it going guys and happy Final Cut Pro 10 launch day. Now as you guys know Apple did officially release Final Cut Pro 10 today along with Motion 5 and uh, Compressor 3.0 I want to say. I'm not exactly sure. I picked up um, Final Cut as well as Motion though and I am really liking the two applications. Now I've used Final Cut in the past and um, I've really enjoyed using it and this new interface is uh, very very nice. As for motion I haven't used it too much so I'm still learning quite a few things but I'm hoping that with a couple videos and almost a series if you will I'll be able to show you guys a couple quick tips um, and things that you guys might be interested in seeing. So today you can probably tell from the title I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a voiceover or uh, you know just recording audio separately for a uh, for your project. So as you can see here, um, I have some gameplay. I don't know, for some reason there's some uh, green like green inserts somewhere in here. Um, but anyways guys, so here I have some gameplay from Ellie Noir and um, I'm just gonna show you exactly how to go about um, doing a voiceover. So I know a lot of people do like to do commentaries here, uh, here on YouTube and if you've upgraded from uh, iMovie to Final Cut, you'll notice that there is no button anywhere here just to do a regular voiceover. So this is similar to the previous Final Cut, and what you guys want to do is drag your playhead to wherever you want to start the um, voiceover. So you can, I'm just going to start it right about there, and then what you're going to want to do is go up to Window and then go down uh, to Record Audio. You want to click this, and it'll pop up with this little window here. You can move it around anywhere you want. And as you can see, this green bar is indicating... Um, the sound that's being picked up from the microphone. So it's doing this in real time even while I am recording in uh, ScreenFlow. So let me just show you guys a quick test. Um, it'll it just, This basically just shows you where it's going to save to um, in, in regards to events where the actual voice voiceover is going to save to. And then here you can see the input device is set to my blue snowball microphone which you can probably see right here. So I'm going to set that and just do mono channel 1. I'm not really going to touch the gain at all, and I don't really need to monitor it. So you can just say, it says it's ready to record, so you just hit the red record button, and as you can see, it's recording, and the video is playing at the same time. So as you can see, I don't really know what these uh, green slides are in here for. Maybe it was some way I exported the uh, gameplay. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop that right there. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you out. That is how you record a voiceover in Final Cut Pro 10. If you guys would like to see any other uh, tutorials or any, you have any other questions regarding Final Cut, I'll do my best to answer them. I am, uh, I want to say, I don't want to say skilled, but I do know my way around the application and um, I was pretty fluent with uh, Final Cut Pro 7. So I hope I can answer your guys' questions or do some video responses if it's a popular question or something like that. So um, please leave them below and I will do my best. Um, also, if you guys have questions regarding motion, I'll try to do those. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm learning as well. So um, please bear with me. And uh, yeah, like I said at the beginning, happy uh, Final Cut Pro 10 day. So I hope you guys can go out and download it if you have a Mac and it's available in the Mac App Store for $300. So go ahead and, uh, you know, have fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.